What is going on guys? It is your boy Toddy P coming back at you with another video and today I have something very exciting to reveal to you guys. I just got back from Stonehearts Indoor Gun Range which is my FFL of choice and I picked up my Foxtrot Mike's AR9. It's a 7 inch barrel with the SBA3 tactical pistol brace. It's a side charging AR15 and it has a last round bolt hold open as well as accepting Glock Max. I've been waiting two months to get my hands on this gun because it's been out of stock everywhere. Not to mention it's only, you can only buy it from primary arms but they do have uppers from like Brownells and those websites. I'll put in the description as well. But without wasting any time, let's jump right into the unboxing and see what comes in the box with this awesome Foxtrot Mics AR9. Alright guys, don't be fooled by the box being opened already. I have not looked inside. At Stonehearts, where I did the FFL transfer, they just checked to make sure everything was in the box. So let's see what's in the box. Not really too much in here. This is looking like the upper receiver. Okay, here's the upper receiver. The bolt carrier. Charging handle right here, it has a flash suppressor. These must be different charging handles. I'm guessing this is an ambidextrous one and this is maybe just a lower profile one. I might actually put this one on. And this is the lower receiver. It came with a SBA3 tactical pistol brace, which as most of you will know is probably one of the most sought after ones nowadays. You can, um, Supposedly, yeah, you can move it back and forth, it has adjustable length of pull. It doesn't really like snap into place, you kind of have to like snap it into place. But let's put this thing together, actually first let's check it out, yeah. So they're supposed to have a lot of proprietary technology and patent protected technology that allows it to have last round bolt hold open and very good reliability and feeding from the Glock mags. So we'll test out the last round bolt hold open in a second. But you can see the receiver is really beefy. It's really thick, I like that. It's a um, really good looking receiver, yo. It has a really big mag release, easily accessible. Let's put this thing together, see what it looks like. I'm kind of surprised it didn't come with a magazine. I really thought it was going to come with a magazine. I guess it doesn't. It doesn't have a dust cover either. It looks really nice. Again, it's the seven inch. Definitely needs some oil, that's for sure. Pretty stiff, it is brand new. I have a regular, I was, I was really hoping it would come in a man, but Here's a regular factory Glock 31 round mag. Seat's pretty nice. It does hold open. The charging handle is not spring. Oh, it is um. It seems like it's a little bit assisted. But it didn't um. Let's, let's try it again. Let's see if it goes back into place. Oh, there. Maybe it just needs to wear in a little bit. That's pretty nice. I'm so used to charging it back here. I'm gonna have to change my manual of arms for sure. But first impressions, it seems really nice. The, the um, handguard has very, very little play in it. It's, the seam is nice and tight. Everything feels tight and um, yeah, good to go. Let's see how the trigger feels. Little like sponginess there. So 
So the trigger doesn't really see this. Reset is alright. For a factory trigger, I'd probably give it a 4 out of 5, you know. Alright, I have my trigger gauge here. Let's do the first test of 6 pounds, 11 ounces. But it's a really nice setup, you know. This is going to be a fun gun to shoot, fun for plinking. And one thing that really attracted me to this gun is the fact that because it shoots 9mm and it's a 7 inch barrel, you can shoot it at most digital ranges. So I think it would be a lot of fun to shoot at some digital targets. You know? I think that would be a lot of fun. And guys, since the unboxing, I did install some Magpul Emboss, Magpul Emboss flip-up sights just because I don't have any other red dots just lying around. Well, I do have one, but it's not working. And I was really trying to get this sight mounted up here, and I sanded it down a whole bunch, this left side, to clear the charging handle, but I just can't get it to clear that charging handle, so I had to mount it back here. And I'm thinking I want to change out this thick charging handle to the skinnier one that they included in the box. But I can't find anything on their website or anything online that says how to change the polymer charging handle. So if any of you guys know in the comment section, please let me know. I want to change this ASAP.